All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today we have an extra special video. So in our previous video, we tested the difference in results that we ended up getting between Saw you Cow, super popular professional lime grade product, and then our standard $4.28 bag of soil, doctor, lawn conditioning, lime, or whatever. Now, today what we're going to do is take the same test methodology of a backwards titration and test Magic Cow against our cheap $5 bag of lime. Stick around and we'll show you what we unpacked. All right, due to popular demand, Magical was requested. So we're going to repeat our previous backward titration lime experiment that we did with soy cow and traditional lime. We'll repeat the same thing with the Magical product. So we're gonna begin by preparing a one molar solution of sodium hydroxide as our backward titration solution. So this is what we will drip into the solution of uh, hydrochloric acid and Magical. In the meantime, we're gonna prepare one gram of the Magical. All right, so let's go weigh one gram of this. All right, we got one gram. Let's go prepare our solution so that way we can backward titrate it and calculate the calcium carbonate equivalent of this product. All right, so we're going to put this in, actually do a little bigger Erlenmeyer flask. We're gonna put this one gram of lime in there, drop a stir bar, and then we'll add 25 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to facilitate the reaction. This is one mole hydrochloric acid. We'll add it in here, and you're gonna see a pretty significant reaction of bubbling. I'm gonna put this on a hot plate and let it heat and stir. And then we're gonna add 100 milliliters of deionized water. All right, while this is heating to help facilitate everything going into solution, I'm adding 100 milliliters of pure water. It is deionized water. All right, so we heated this to make sure everything would dissolve that's supposed to dissolve. It's probably too fine to pick up on camera, but you know, this product has some other stuff that is not soluble in it. I think they mentioned the biochars in it and uh, uh, some humic acids. And so you can see some minor impurities there that did not dissolve. I just, I don't think the camera will pick it up. So now we were backwards titrate this to estimate the calcium carbonate equivalent of this product. This, that would mean how effective is this compared to traditional standard lime. We're gonna put 10 milliliters of our sodium hydroxide solution in here. Now, 22 milliliters is about what it took for standard lime. So we will see how close that is with this material. All right, let's set this up. All right, we'll add our five drops of indicator. Now that we have our indicator in here, we'll go ahead and titrate this. Now, because I've done this before, I know this should go ahead and burn through 10 milliliters, no problem. So I'll add these first 10 milliliters pretty quickly. We will refill our pipette for the next round. As you can see, we're hitting our pink color there. So again, we have gotten to exactly 22 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide to complete the back titration. Therefore, 
we can deduce that this particular product is the exact same in terms of neutralizing effectiveness. How much buffering material is in this product is exactly the same as traditional standard lime, at least the version that we tested, which was $5 a bag and was a pure calcium carbonate. Then we also tested it with SoluCal, which also took the same amount of 22 milliliters, it had the exact same calcium carbonate equivalent, the exact same effective neutralizing value as the cheap line. And now we've got MagiCal, which again, has the exact same effective neutralizing ability as the traditional line. So really, no matter how you spin this, all three of them are exactly, in regards to the soil and the effect it has on the soil, basically exactly the same. John Pinkerton. Matt Martin. I gotta ask, did you expect what we saw out of the Magic Cow? I was personally hoping to see something different. I was hoping to see some sort of more improvement, something, just something different. I was hopeful. But after our first experiences, I was kind of expecting the same results. And I guess I, I kind of was hoping something too. And I'll say this though, to the credit of MagiCal, it actually did better than I thought it was going to do. <laughs> I thought it was going to be significantly worse, but it performed identically to the other two previous lines that we also checked on. Now, to kind of get in here and shake things up, this is my wonder is, I, I know they say some interesting things about it, but I think all of these products are exactly the same. I think the same company manufactures it, sells it to all of them, and then it's put in new packaging and it is just distributed that way. Kind of like when you go to the store and you get the brand name flour and the off the shelf flour and the super cheap flour. They're maybe all the same behind the scenes, just different labels. Exactly. And because of that, really, what it comes down to at the end of the day is how much do you really want to pay? So it's not my determination. It's probably not your determination either to tell you how to spend your money. But when you see marketing claims like 10 times more powerful, five times more powerful, you only need this amount. And then you put it to the test and it doesn't really pan out. I don't know. I feel like it puts me in a weird position. Yeah, and absolutely. You'd be in a weird position. Maybe you have some super brand loyalty to, to one and you, you just... You really want to buy into it, but I feel like in this instance, my money personally would be better spent buying something else, doing another test down the road to make sure I got the results I needed, or just pocketing the difference and buying a buddy a beer. <laughs> yeah, unimpressed with all of it altogether. You know, I'm glad the cheap line lived up to being effective cheap line, but the rest of it was just entirely disappointing to say the least. Yeah, definitely wanted to see something different than the rest of them. If you're spending that kind of money, you want to see better results. Now, let me ask you, having been through the results, having looked at the marketing claims, is it a scam or is it not? I would say the marketing claims are at least a little bit squirrely, but would fall for me more on the scam side saying, hey, we're going to do this thing, but you don't get that thing out of it. That to me sounds like a scam. Yeah, I'm, I have to be careful saying that word because sure. you know I get ostracized for it. So I'm going to stay away from that word, but I'll just let you kind of form your own position on it after having conducted the test and seeing what the output is. So that way I'll make you be the bad guy. So I I'll know be the bad I can guy. be the bad guy. Sure. So thank you for being the scapegoat. You can leave all your comments about how John's the bad guy. All right. Well, really, that is all I had to say about Magic Cow. I just wanted to do a follow up to the previous video and see yeah. what we can unpack there. Would have been nice to see faster results, better results, something that leaned towards those claims. It's unfortunate we didn't. Yeah, and hang on, hang on. Before we cut okay. it, we cut it to an end. You know the part that is most interesting to me is that the product is sold in writing as a lime or a conditioner for acidic soils, right? Sure. But they do not have the generalized lime requirement portion of the label on their packaging. And that part, I cannot figure out why. So typically you're supposed to have, you know, minimum your screen size prior to granulation. You're supposed to list your calcium carbonate equivalent, your total neutralizing value. Uh, there's lots of requirements there that are typically required that are not on that specific package. 
and I don't know why. Do you know why? I don't. I don't it feels know. like they're trying to hide something, but without knowing the actual answer, that's just speculation. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is either. And I, I tried to do a little digging into it and a little homework to ask even how it's possible, but I couldn't really find anything. Guess it's just a secret. <laughs> it is a secret. All right, everybody, we want to thank you for tuning in today. Oh, and one last thing, one more time. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not very good at this. But one last thing is stick around, stay tuned, because we got a big collaboration coming up with Ryan Knorr. That's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully be showing you some really cool things on that regard. So one more time, we'll see, see you on the next <laughs> Was it see on the flip side? Sure. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And one more time. We'll see you on the flip side. One last time. Uh, wow. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> we'll see you on the flip side. Yeah.